Alright guys, more free. Um tutorial six, I think this is I don't know, something like that. Anyway, today I'm gonna show you how to make three D text in Cinema four D. Which a lot of you probably know but for people who are new to Cinema four D, I'll just show you how to do that. So I'm gonna show you two types of text. Um, the first one is really nice text with like looks like it's got two layers on it in two different colours and the other one is like where each letter's rotated, so start off with the one which looks like it's got two layers. So you want to make your text and then make it say what you want. I know you're breaking on me. I know you're breaking on me. Just mm -hmm. sort of position it where you want. Then um, put a font on it. Sorry, I shouldn't really be messing around with all this. Besides the point, um, Bevis, that's a nice one if you don't have it yet. So, yeah, basically, what you want to do is you want to go up here to this cube thing and then go to extrude noobs, extrude nibs. Then you want to get the text and drag it so the arrow is facing to the left, not down to the left. So, no, no, so it's facing down, sorry. <laughs> so, I'm down. Oh god, I've messed it up here. Right. So, you've got that at the moment. Um, then, you want to click double click on extra nerves and change the last bit here, which is the depth, to about 80. Whatever you want, really. Um, then, you want to Press Control C on this here, and then Control V and paste it again. Then on the bottom one, change the depth to about 40. On caps, you want to click Start, Fill it Cap, End, Fill it Cap, Radius 10, Radius 10. See that in both. Then hit this thing here. We'll just rotate it a bit, and then so you can just see. So you got a vertical view over it, and then drag this so it looks like it's in the middle of the text. So. About there. Then what you want to do, just to make it look a bit nicer, is double click, add a matte color, make it a bit darker. So yeah, add that on. Then um, file shader, new key, blue, change to whatever color you want. But then drag this onto the the other one here. So so it looks like that. If I just render it out, it looks like that. It looks alright. And then um, now I'm going to show you the second type of text which you can, which you can do, which is simpler and I say it looks better. So I, I've started to use this a lot more. First thing I'm going to do is go up here to MoGraph and then down to um, Text Object there. Just drag it up a bit. And that basically just makes your text 3D already. So you don't have to add extrude nerves or anything. So add Bevis 3D text. <coughs> yeah, so basically just change the depth and stuff. I like to have about. Mm, what am I doing here? Um, about 100 on these ones. Um, then what you want to do is hold C. And so hold C, C on your keyboard and click on a letter. So it cut, just does that basically. And then you're going to click this little like, ball with the circles around it, which is the rotation tool. So you can grab it and then just twist it anywhere you want. So if I just got this now, just mess around with it. So you just do what you want with it really. But don't twist around too much, otherwise it'll just look overdone and it won't look as effective as it could be. And also you could just sort of click this and then go back to the I don't know what tool that is, but <laughs> go back to that one. Then just maybe put some forward, some backwards, so it looks a bit more 3D, if you get me. Um, oh, yeah, another thing you could do is you could add a light. Um, if you don't have Cinema 4D yet, which I'm sure you do, otherwise you probably wouldn't have watched this far, then you should really get it, because it's a really good program for 3D work especially for text if you 
like your text. <laughs> so yeah, that see what that looks like. That looks pretty good. Just add a new key or something to each layer. I hope you choke. I hope you choke. I hope you choke. I hope you choke. Just render that out. So yeah, that that's all right. So also, I'll show you my render settings quickly. So, but yeah, there there are two 3D texts which you can do. But obviously, as you can see, they're highlighted a bit here. It's not 12 8 by 720. It's something like 480 or something, I don't really know the proportions you want to click that button there, I think I've got a lower version to what everyone else has but there will be three There will be three buttons there, you want to click that one <laughs> Then, so I've got some um, a preset for this so I'll load it, no background obviously that just basically deletes the background so what you want is best still image with refraction all objects all time. I don't know if I change that at all. But on your output current frame zero seconds to zero seconds save. There's a bit where you just call it what you want. So yeah, do that. Then on it, if you got JPEG, just there, pick it or PNG. Don't really matter, but yeah, and then I think the other thing I changed was anti-aliasing. Um, hang on. Yeah, anti-aliasing. So best still image. Just copy those down. Right. So if I just render this quickly, so save it as good. I am the one. Yeah, there Look at all my gay files, just look at all them. Gay. Is that done yet? It is done. So, yeah. This is your 3D text when it loads. Looks professional. Maybe you could space it out a bit more than this. <coughs> Obviously, I've spent as much time as you should do on this. But yeah, a bit of shadow there. That white is basically just the three D. I mean, the transparent background. So you can put that into Vegas over a clip, and you won't have a background at all. Um, next story, I'm going to show you how to do text on that looks like it's on the floor in the map. And then one after it's going to be three D text in After Effects because I know half of you don't have Cinema 4D. All right, so <laughs> see you later, guys.